Hi, I'm Lisa, and I'm from just outside of Philadelphia in the United States, and I'm a professional quilter. I absolutely love what I do. I get to stay at home and work out of my studio, so sometimes I just don't even get out of my pajamas, which is great. <laughs> I really like the way the Bernina feels. And so I knew when I first drove the Bernina that it was just a really smooth machine. And so it really just kind of glides along the top of your quilt. The stitch quality on the long arm is exactly how the stitch quality is on the sewing machine. And that really impressed me. It's manufactured and assembled in Switzerland. And I liken that to very high quality and high standards. So as you're quilting, I always like to say that you have a sweet spot that you quilt in. So even though you have 24 inches of space and you have great visual with that 24 inches, I typically personally quilt in my sweet spot, which is just right in front of me. The nice thing about the Bernina Q24 and Q20 is that the handles are ergonomically correct. You can maneuver them out of your field of vision if you need to, which is really nice. The other really cool feature is that there's toggles on each of the handles and you can customize them to your preferences. It really saves time in your quilting when everything is really right at your fingertips. So with Bernina, the nice thing is, is you have three different size frames you could choose from. There's a large frame that has leaders that are 132 inches. You also have a classic frame and then also a small frame. The hydraulic lift is wonderful because you can just raise it and lower it, um, which kind of gives your neck a break. So the Bernina has a stitch regulator, it's called a BSR, and there's three different options you can choose from. And the BSR1 is actually my favorite mode, and that's gonna give you perfectly spaced stitches. The needle has a constant idle speed, which you can set to slow or fast. The BSR2, is the true stitch regulation. So when you move the machine, the needle starts going. When you stop the machine, the needle stops going. And BSR number three is the basting stitch, which you can actually set to one stitch per inch, two stitches per inch, or four stitches per inch. And that's great for when you have to baste your quilt up, up, up at the top and down the sides. So on the front of the Bernina, you have a relatively large touch screen, which is really intuitive. You can choose your stitch length on there anywhere from from one stitch to 24 stitches per inch. It also has some LED lights along the machine, and so you have a variety of different lighting options for, for the task that you're doing, which is very helpful. The other thing, one of my favorite features, is that you can preset um, your favorite threads in there. So if I'm using Aurafil 50 weight thread, I find that perfect tension, I program it in there, and so every time I pull my Aurafil 50 weight thread out, I can just push that button and the settings pop up and you're ready to go. I struggle with threading the needle. There's a needle threader right there for you and it makes that really easy. So the big thing in quilting right now is computerized quilting, because every once in a while you want that perfect element on your quilt. The Qmatic is actually the computer component for their Q24 and Q20. Perfect stitches, the design is perfect, it makes it very easy to resize, morph your, your design into different areas. It's a great tool um, to have in your arsenal. There's so many different options that you have with a Bernina. Rulers are my thing. I absolutely love rulers because every once in a while you need perfectly straight lines or perfectly smooth curves. And so you have to make sure that you have your ruler kit, which includes the number 96 foot. It also includes a ruler base. And you do also get one ruler in there as well, and it's kind of like a versatile tool. It gives you a straight edge and a little bit of a curve as well. So you'll be set to do any kind of ruler work that you want. Some additional accessories that you can purchase for your machine are the wide variety of free motion feet and then also the channel locks. The other thing that's nice is the vertical and horizontal spool holder. That's really helpful. The Q24 has a little sister. It's the Q20 and that comes standard in a sit-down cabinet. So instead of moving a machine across the quilt, you're going to actually be moving the quilt underneath the needle. If you decide later on that you would rather have a stand-up machine, you can take your Q20 and put it on the frame. So I think that that's kind of a really nice way to kind of grow with your quilting. 
Having the Q24 in my studio is having a little slice of heaven, and once you drive it, you just don't want to drive anything else. I absolutely love my machine and I'm going to encourage you to find a dealer close to you and go and test drive it. Whatever you can imagine, you can pretty much do. Bernina. Made to create.